solar economy by 2024 in my view is not a difficult task and of course the prime minister the finance minister and everybody else will work in the direction of making sure that the building blocks for that fall in line a 10 trillion dollar economy equally by 2030 is not a difficult one for india now if you look at the number of passengers which i gave you today and the number of passengers that you want to have in 2030 or 2040 i mean what you are looking at in india is all the coordinates and recipe for a huge success story in civil aviation but we have to ensure that that success is achieved in an equitable manner and that's what i think udan and and government is all about and equally that the private sector is allowed to operate and encouraged to operate in a system anchored in the rule of law and a system anchored in an overall ambiance of fair play because anything other than that will means you will vitiate one of the most for promising sectors of growth in the economy look i am very clear that when you talk about 2030 and 600 million people living in urban spaces who would be wanting to fly and you know we're talking about uh, uh, taking udan means taking it to the aam nagrik you have a very interesting situation the india of 2030 is still being built In fact, my favorite uh, figure is 70% of the India of 2030 is still to be built. So, what we do that, and civil aviation is very much a part of that, because a country of India's size, well, you know, surface transportation, building roads, Sagar Mala, all those ports is important, but civil aviation occupies pride of place. So, I thank you for uh, indulging me today. I have uh, deviated from my script almost completely. and i have spoken to you from the heart but i'll tell you as i get experience of this sector and i have the opportunity to interact with you and learn from you i hope we can work together to clean up what i think is not a very happy state of affairs that we find ourselves in partly on account of factors of our own making thank you very much